Okay, guys, so another new feature in Logic Pro X 10.4.2 is that they've extended the Smart Tempo to MIDI. Smart Tempo now analyzes the tempo of MIDI performances recorded without a metronome. Um, it almost works. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so I've got electric piano here. And without a metronome, I'm going to play in some keyboard, but I'm going to just, I'm not going to get a MIDI keyboard out. I can't be bothered. Um, I'm just going to use this musical typing. So here we go. Let's record some freeform uh, MIDI playing with no metronome. There you go. And if we listen to it with a metronome, of course, it's completely out. Oh, the project tempo is the default 120. All right. So let's bring in the tempo track and we bring up the shortcut menu for the piece of MIDI. To do that, you right click on it. If, But if, like me, your right click is assigned to bring up your toolbox, then you control left click. Bring up the shortcut menu, tempo. Now we want to keep the feel of the playing and get the project tempo to to follow the playing feel, right? So tempo, apply the region tempo to the project tempo, bam, and apply. Okay, so let's have a listen now. It shifted the first chord to, the, to a bar. Metronome's on, let's hear it. I can already see it's on the money. Okay, fair enough. Let's undo that. Let's do it now where we want the plane to conform to the tempo. Now I played much slower than 120, so the default tempo is 120. Bring up the shortcut menu, tempo. Apply the project tempo to the region and downbeat. Bam. It's shifted it. Put the first coping chord on bar five. And it's adjusted the, all the position of the notes to fit the bar lines at the project tempo of 120. Let's hear that. That's good. <coughs> okay, cool, groovy and all that, but the problem is it doesn't always work successfully if you're doing slowing down endings or maybe you slow down and speed up in the middle or something look let's say you had an electric piano and a vocalist and you wanted to do some sort of ballad you don't want to do it to any clock you want to completely keep the feel so that subtle bits can slow down and speed up and at the end you want to slow down to a final chord and a final vocal note right uh, let's try that. I'm going to play a little short, shorter this time and slow down at the end. No click. Here we go. Okay. 
Right, so a slowing down ending. Right, the shortcut menu, tempo, apply the pro uh, region tempo to the project and downbeat. Bam. And I can see already it hasn't worked, you see. It's got a problem with slowing down endings. The, the, this will be all right. Listen. Okay, now I don't blame Apple for this. As far as I remember, when you when you play in some audio and you slow down at the end, with the the same smart tempo fails. It, it's when you slow down at the end within a bar. It just has some problems with that. So look, the bottom line is, if if this was some keyboard playing and the vocalist had sung along to it, and we wanted to keep that absolute feel of the playing where we vary the tempo, um, so that it doesn't sound robotic at all. And at the end it slows out and then we wanted to put drums to it well it's done this all right but it's just the ending you'd have to do the ending manually you know so um you know i'd have to put a couple of drum regions in like that right and um how would we do this at the end here let's just get those drum regions and <coughs> Low ballady stuff, no fills. Yeah, let's have it playing a ride. Let's hear that. You'd have to do it like this. You'd have to just manually fix the ending. It just you know you have to do a bit of work with these things, right? So um, what I would do is for this last bar where it slows down, I chop the drumming there, convert this to a MIDI region, uh, convert to MIDI region. It'll still trigger the drums exactly the same, and then for this last bit here. Let's put a cycle range around that. I'm looking at the drums. This is the ending. Now, that's the final hit. There's the final hit, so none of this is required. Well, I want the symbol, but nothing else. Okay, so we'd have to, you're going to have to fix this manually. Okay, so you bring this back. That's where that keyboard note is, there, and this drum ride lines up with that. Move it forward to the next keyboard note, there. It doesn't notice it hasn't quantized the notes. They weren't all pressed at the same time. It's just taken the earliest one for its analysis, as far as I can see, um, or maybe it's taken the average. I don't know. But that I bring it to where this chord is. There, like say there, and then this has to be moved back a bit to match. Then I go forward to where the final chord hits there, and I just got to move that ride forward. And I want um, let's hear it. These have to come to that point. Now, without the metronome, listen. And if you wanted to put a fill in there, um, 
like a double tom hit. Let's hear that. Hang on, put the Psycho Ranger back on. There's one tom hit there, and another tom hit about there. Yeah, like that. You just have to do a bit of work. And then here we'll put a gentle soft crash. Right, let's hear that. Maybe not quite so gentle. A little bit louder. Yeah, you've got to just go in and do a little bit of work. Might even bring these all back just a smidge. Yeah, okay. So don't expect miracles. It, it generally works, but for slowing down endings, you're going to have to do a little bit of work. But I can show you what it will do. Let's just mute this track. Is if if I let's get rid of that and let's get rid of all these tempo changes and set our project I know to 120 the default. No metronome. Now this time what I'm going to do, the drums are muted. I'm going to play slowing down and speeding up in the middle, not a slow down ending. Here we go. Oh wait a minute. I need this and I need the musical typing. Here we. go go. Let's do that again. Here we go. No metronome. Clearly, I slow down and speed up in the middle there. Bring up shortcut menu, tempo, apply region tempo to the project. Bam. Slow down, speed it up. Let's see how it worked with the metronome. Here we go, we're speeding up. Yeah, it works okay. Okay. Sometimes it fails when you slow down the speed up, but um, but the main problem is slow down endings, where it slows down in the last bar or the last couple of bars. Because you've got to remember, really, well, in, you can see here there are tempo changes within a bar, but generally speaking, it's looking for the downbeat and analysing in between downbeats. So when you have this sudden slowing down at the end within a bar or within two bars, it often fails to get that. But there you go, that's, that's how that works. Um, one thing that this would be extremely useful for, or two things that it's very useful for, uh, the first I've already explained, where you've got um, an instrumentalist and a singer, or the person plays and sings, 
and they want to lay down some sort of ballad using some sort of electric piano thing they want to keep the real flow of the playing the real feel of the playing with all the slowing down and speeding up even if it's subtle and then you want to build, build MIDI backing around that resulting MIDI performance. This is great because you can clock to the subtle changes of that MIDI performance and then build your backing around it to beats and bars, or to bars and beats rather. Another uh, time when this would be extremely useful would be for film score work. That would be very useful because in film score, you're often going to want to change the tempo within the performance as you're playing those string parts or whatever. And this allows us to set the clock to the performance changes in tempo. And then we can use those bar positions and, and sub positions of those bars to put dialogue or effects or other things too, etc, etc, etc. Right. Right. So there you go. It's, it's, it's not a magic bullet. Um, in some cases, you'll have to do a little bit of extra mini work to, to, to build a composition around this. But, um, but it's, it's a pretty good feature. OK, so there you go. That's that one. Um, and I think we've reached the end now, really, of the new features. The ones that I want to cover, anyway, in 10.4.2. Um, I'll probably come back with one last video doing a summary. Okay, I'll see you for that.